What does this type of game say about your guys? I know you were asked last night about being frustrated about not taking advantage of situations. Does this kind of play into your answer last night that you wanted them to grow and learn from those situations? Yeah, and you know, um, I guess bottom line when you when you think about <clears throat> you know this game, this level, you know, you play to um, you know the twenty um, <clears throat> excuse me seven twenty seven outs or however long it takes and. You know, consider that um, the offense uh, um, <clears throat> didn't get going until later on in the game. And, um, you know, Hosey um, solo home run there, you know, just kind of gave us a little life. We were down by three at that point. So it's like, okay, we got another um, uh, couple of innings left. You know, let's see what happens. And, you know, just putting together those kind of um, um, the bats and 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 staying in, engaged, really. You know, uh, you got to really tip my hat off to the uh, to the bullpen. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be a shorter day, and you know, we we're going to follow a little script with Morgan there. Um, <laughs> Stephanie came in, um, yeah. done a good job, got out of the jam. I thought he threw the so, ball pretty good, had life. Uh, you know, just I'm gonna, shows I'm the resilience, it. really. Yeah. And, you know, and you, you got to tip your hat to him. Enter what? Through a gate or something. Through a gate? And that ticket will just get me in? Yeah. But- hey, you, got, you guys are open. <laughs> Easy, Hedgy. Hedgie's excited. What does it say about Hedgie that it, on his day off? And, and I know he didn't feel good seeing Wilson go down for any of you guys, but what does it say about Austin, how he was able to handle the situation? Well, I, I think he he's engaged in the game, whether he's playing or, uh, you know, on the bench. You know, he's seeing the game. So, um, you know, it's not surprising. You know, I, I know it was tough to see Wilson go down, but, you know, he stepped right in. You know, had a, 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 a plan that was working, you know, even with Wilson, you know, because we kind of controlled them scoring a little bit. You know, they hit, uh, you know, the, uh, three home runs today, uh, Devers two and uh, another kid at first base, Dalback. But Hedgie's going to always be engaged in the game, whether he's playing or not, uh, seeing how it's flowing. And, and, and I think it's a, a compliment to him that, you know, he's that kind of professional that, that he's ready um, whenever his name is called. Do you have a report on Wilson's injury at this point? Is it too early? Yeah, it's too early. Um, you know, um, I'm sure they're evaluating him and, and, and probably see how he wakes up tomorrow, but uh, it's way too early. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to be very cautious with players and their careers. Um you know, he, he didn't have a very good look on his face, you know, when he was on the ground. So, um, you know, hopefully it, it's it's good news and, and, and not the news that, you know, we don't want to hear. What can you say about you, Chang, and just not only today, but just the week he's had at the plate? Yeah, I, I mean, no doubt. You, you, you try to find a way to use him, but I thought defensively, you know, you, you – he made a couple of very good plays there. So, especially with the speed guy, the center fielder, you know, to end in. And, you know, I mean, he's another guy, you know, he, he's there uh, when called upon, you know, has a professional uh, approach and way about him to this game. So, you know, it's really a compliment to him as well. Um, you know, hopefully I can get him in there a little bit more going forward, you know, depends on the matchup situations, but you know, he's always ready to play for sure when his name is called. Marlo, what's it say about Kyle Hudson to send Mercado there, even though it looked like it was going to be a close play at the plate to know what had happened in, in the base pass. Yeah. I, I mean, that was a huge play. Um, and, and, and Huddy was right on target with it in terms of timing because, you know, that, that play can go to um, uh, a review of timing and, and, and they started looking where the base runner was at. But with Mercado full speed and, and Huddy didn't hesitate, it, it was a big play. And, you know, you, you, he's learning out there. And I think every day he's getting comfortable. Um, and these are the things that, you know, take place that come up. You can't script as a third base coach. Your instincts got to take over. Uh, and, and he was right on top of it. You know, and I think probably, you know, him being a former good base runner, you know, that situation uh, probably came up with him running at some point. Um, 
So just a great, great instinct uh, effort. And like I said, he's getting comfortable out there and doing a good job. DeMarlo, was it interference at second and third or just third? Because I think he ran into the second baseman at second as well. <laughs> yeah, I think the first one um, was between, um, you know, second and third. Um, and then also, you know, Mercado, you know, full speed, I, I, th that plays a part too because, you know, the umpires can't say, well, he's slowed down and now is their judgment if he's going to be able to uh, make it. So, um, uh, but the one was between second and third where there was um, uh, big contact and, and really slowed him down and peed him a little bit, but he kept going. And, um, you know, that's, that's a great job base running by him as well.